Hello, my fellow griefers and trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here, and Bicos. Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. So in the last one, we did uh, more quests for Mr. House, but we are... Uh, needing to take a bit of a break because this is where we're currently at. We're near the end of the main storyline. So we're going to be starting uh, to do... Uh, start to do the Honest Hearts DLC, as it were. And visit our uh, old friend Joshua Graham. be a little ways before we can uh, get there though find the northern passage as it were Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. What are you doing Earning here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93? Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Okay. 
Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there, but that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war, but we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Just okay. like that, huh? You got guts, I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? I bet you are, but you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack Brahmin. Huh, I do believe you could. I bet you are, but you ain't. Are you here to jar at me? Wait a minute. I you Well The paths we're following are slow going. So you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out <laughs> Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. 
Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Oh, uh, gives me chills. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back until we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. They don't? We've got the our friend's pit boy over there. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving. And keep for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old kid. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. They rest in pieces. Oi, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow, Joshua will want to hear about this. Civilized lands? What do you mean? I mean the lands beyond the valley. The place where the cities never fell. Where people don't live in tribes and forage just to survive. Joshua keeps saying it isn't paradise out there, 
But how can it not be, compared to this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Joshua will want to know about you. Please, go to our camp on the Eastern Virgin. Tell him how you came to be here. Good sists, maybe while you're there, you can tell me about where you came from, yeah? <laughs> Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. Please don't move. Was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it, though. Yao Guai are plenty mean as a rule. You can take the path north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff if you want to look. I do as the marker guides. Dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. See those imprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Hold up. You're getting all turned around. Check your map and backtrack a little. this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. 
got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh? I forgot how cool this is. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there. In the angel cave. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of king. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. I'll be sure to be on my best behavior then. You wise for Auslander. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. How do you know so much about what happened to me? The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. I came here with the Happy Trails Caravan Company to make contact with the new Canaanites. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites. Almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. I'm not going to leave without offering help. What can I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follows Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings.
Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Oh, we do. Oh, those things are huge.
Okay, well, that, uh, could have ended badly. Remember, the dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me.
Okay. They don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai. I am really glad I kept the sonic emitter.
Feels good to be doing some actual scouting, not just following.
Oh, we need to get all these little scout lunch boxes. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. <laughs> I was to be expected. <laughs> Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. That's horrifying, if I'm honest. There's basically nothing here.
Looks like we're still going in the right direction, give or take. Okay, this is creepy. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone, even the White Lakes. They have sensitive souls, innocent if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Anything to help, I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Lakes. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. I will. Good gunning, Akis. All right, well, Bicos, um...
this is where we will end things for now. Uh, interesting, interesting to get back into this DLC again. Although luckily we've done enough exploring that we can, uh... I might go and try and clear out this, uh, where was it? There it is, the Yao Guai Cave. But we'll see. We'll talk and uh, do what we need to do to see what we need to do for everyone in the next one. But until then, bye!